Hi, and welcome to my little journal and author chat video here. I just thought it would be fun to be able to have a video where I can kind of casually chat about whatever, but also I can kind of do something interesting in the meantime so that you're not just like watching my face as I chat. It's also nice for me because I don't have to show my face. <laughs> Um, so today I thought I would do like a journal basically for debut year. Um, if you don't know, uh, my name is Lizelle Sambri. I'm a young adult author and my debut novel Blood Like Magic comes out June 15th of this year from Simon Schuster. And so yeah, I'm going to be a debut author. <laughs> this is my very first book ever, not just in a uh, like, published book. I've written other books. Um, and so yeah, it's good. It's a whole experience. That's also what I'm going to chat about while I do this. But I thought I would just do this like journal spread. I'm not really like a huge journal person. Like this is my journal that I use. And I basically just kind of like use it to do whatever, like just kind of creative sort of things. And then I also have like a book one and like where I put some like debut releases and like some books I already own. Um, I just have that. I don't use it very seriously. My book TBR, I'm actually very bad at using it. <laughs> yet. I just kind of thought it would be pretty. Um, and so that's what I have there. But I thought it would be nice to like have a dedicated like thing for journaling about debut year. And so I thought I'd just chat about debut year while I do it. I think I've already rambled for too long. So I'm just going to start <laughs> doing stuff and chatting. Um, I'm not like a big, um, yeah, I'm not like a huge sort of journaling person so I I'm not that serious about it so like if you're like wow this is what her journal looks like like yeah this is what my journal looks like I'm not that serious <laughs> um but mostly yeah it's debut year which is like kind of weird it still doesn't feel like it's real to me it kind of feels like I don't know it still feels like it's 2020 or whatever do I want this? Maybe. It still feels like it's 2020 and it's just like continuing in an infinite loop. This is some like scrap paper I got. I don't know if I want to put that on. Um, I guess because I'm so far out, I'm in summer. And so more things are happening, I think, but not like a huge amount. Like people who are like you know, who like debuted yesterday. What was yesterday? June 4th. So yesterday was the first round of debuts. So like books that came out that um, like When You Look Like Us and Happily Ever Afters and I'm trying to think of other books that came out. Those are the two that stick out in my mind. Yeah, but there's like a bunch of books that came out already. And those were like our first debuts. So that was kind of wild. Um, and so even though they've come out and they've debuted, I'm like, oh, it's 2021, but it still kind of doesn't feel like it. It's really, really weird, even though I have like arcs and stuff coming out, um, which is really exciting for me. Uh, my arcs are not here yet. They are on the way. So like that's going to happen eventually. I'm not being too picky about this, honestly. Like, this will be the most, like, <laughs> unartistic whatever journaling experience because I'm so just, like, whatever. It's just creative practice and fun to me. I don't take it that seriously, but... Um, I got these stickers off of Etsy. I'll put links for, like, stuff that I got. Watch me struggle to get this. But yeah, it just feels like it's not actually happening. Though there are things behind the scenes that are happening for me. So like I said, my arcs are on the way. My arcs are my advanced reader copies of my book that are coming. Wow, I'm so bad at this. Oh my God, the pains. 
Um, and so my editor told me that my advanced copies are coming. It's actually super funny. I posted an Instagram story basically talking about how every time the mail comes, I'm like, oh my God, is it my arcs? And it's not. And then like, <laughs> right after my editor sent me an email that was like, update on your arcs. And I was like, oh my God, did she see? <laughs> was she like, ah, I see that Lizelle is freaking out about arcs. Maybe I should send her some sort of update. And so I was like, whoops. Uh, but anyway, I was excited to hear about it. So apparently in like a couple weeks, they're going to be here. So that's really cool. I'm super excited and I'm really, um, grateful to be getting physical arcs because this year, not everybody is. And in the future, not everybody is, um, some publishers have made the decision to not do physical arcs anymore, to just do e-arcs. Um, and as a person who like super loves like ebooks and is like yeah it's like good to cut down on paper waste and like that sort of thing but like as a person that's like a debut author I'm like oh no because it's such like a huge thing to get your arcs and get to unbox your physical arcs like it's become such a milestone that I think it's can be difficult to not get to have that milestone um, even though you're going to get your final copies, it's not necessarily the same, especially like in these years, because it's become such a big thing to like watch people do their arc unboxings. And so I can imagine that it would be like, I would have been upset if I wasn't getting physical arcs, like I wouldn't have died, but I would have been sad about it. Essentially. That's all I'm doing for this. I just like, <laughs> that's all I care to do. <laughs> <sighs> and but yeah they're gonna be coming soon in a couple weeks so that's really exciting I'm super excited about that and seeing what happens there oh yeah I wanted to do like I want to put like my book like my book cover here and then like some stats and stuff underneath like stats like I don't know, like how many pages and like that sort of thing. Um, I don't have access to a printer, so <laughs> I don't actually have, like, I don't know what my book cover will be, but I'm going to go with this size. So I'm going to just like size that up there, the size of that full metal alchemist sticker. And I'll just use that as my little thing. So we have also sent out requests for blurbs. Blurbs is like, there's definitely, I think, different feelings about blurbs currently. Oh my god, that was horrible. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> this is my attitude to journaling. Like, I'm like, you know, if it looks nice, it looks nice, but if it looks like shit, oh well. Um... And so we sent our, our request for blurbs. Um, my editor emailed me and was basically like, these are some people I think would be good for blurbs. Do you have anyone that you think would be good for blurbs that you'd like to ask? Um, it was a little bit nerve wracking because I did have to ask <laughs> a couple people myself. Um, one author had already like offered. And so that was really cool. So then that was less stressful. Sorry if this is getting off thing that was less stressful because I already knew that she was going to read for me so I was like yay I didn't have to really worry about it that much um but then <laughs> it was stressful um when like I had to ask one author just like and I'd never dm'd them before and so I was like eh it was extremely stressful for me and my editor had offered to contact them for me but I was like so felt like I should be doing it myself you know and um so that's what happened there um what do I want to put here release date I guess this is like the stats section oh my gosh my writing release date um, what was I talking about? Yes. So 
that was really nerve wracking. And I like drafted this whole like, well, first I posted stressfully in the debut group to be like, oh, I have to ask somebody for blurbs. Is it okay to DM them? I don't know what their email is. And they were like, yeah, no, it's okay to DM. I've been DMing people. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then I like in my notes app wrote up what I was going to say. And I was like, so stressed. It's like very stressful. <laughs> Um, and it was less, it was still stressful to email even the author that had offered to read. I was like, well, it's okay if you don't want to anymore, blah, blah, blah. It was just like, yeah, it's like a whole thing. So that was stressful. Um, formats. I'm bad at like writing and talking, I'm realizing. Um, but anyway, I sent off the request to the author and they were like super, super really nice. And they were like, oh yeah, absolutely. I'll read. And like, um, even we're like, Hey, do you want to like do an event together? So that was really nice. I was so very touched by that. Um, and so I emailed my editor all of that and we asked some other people. And so like a couple people were like, yeah, I'll, like read. And, um, uh, one person was like, I can't read in time for like a jacket copy blurb, but I would love to like read and help promote around release date. And I was really, really grateful for that. So that's really exciting. I think the thing with blurbs is that, and I think this discussion is coming up more, but I don't know. Blurbs are something that authors really, really love because we are so happy that like someone we, I'm doing so badly at doing this simultaneously, but we're <laughs> really excited that someone that we, admire is able to take the time to read our book and like you know look towards blurbing it and that sort of thing and so it's really really exciting for us as writers but it's not even like it's not necessarily like um it doesn't necessarily move the needle on book sales I've heard unless it's like a really huge author Excuse me. So like, if you're going to get like, I don't know, like if Lee Bardugo is going to blurb your fantasy, your high fantasy book, like that's like a huge author. Um, and so like that can really move the needle or like, I guess like Cassie Clare or something. Um, and you have like an urban, like a urban fantasy or contemporary fantasy or something like that, or like Holly Black for fairies. Or, like, if you have a contemporary and Angie Thomas is going to blow it. Like, stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I feel so, as authors, like, we like we like blurbs. Like, it's a big thing. Like, people really enjoy blurbs. So I was really happy that we did ask for blurbs and that sort of thing. And that some authors that I really, really admire. Well, they were all authors. Oh, everybody who asked was an author I really admired. But authors that I super admired that agreed to blurb. Um... Um, or agreed to read towards a blurb, because I don't think it necessarily means they blurb. Like, if they read it and they hate it, I guess they won't blurb it. Uh, <laughs> and then you'll look back on this video and you'll be like, wow, that was really embarrassing for myself. I love watching bullet journaling videos, but, like, I am not it. Like, I am not the bullet journaler. It's not me at all. So... Yeah, I have that Davy Diaries video planned to like unbox my arcs and stuff, but um, if they don't come this month, I like don't have that much stuff coming up, and so I'll just not do a Davy Diaries video for that month. In the past, in 2020, I was like, I must do Davy Diaries video every single month, and so I think one month I truly didn't have anything going on, so I just like made a video about something. Um, Anyway, it just like, I was like, ah, if I have nothing going on, I just like won't because yeah, I just like truly didn't have anything going on. And so I was like, what is the point of this? I'm going to use this thing. I got these, <laughs> I got these like, <laughs> um, random post-it things. Um, so it's just like a random amount of like post-its. From people, they're all like super cutesy. Uh, and so I think I'm gonna use one of these for my little goal thing. I just have to figure out which one I want that kind of fits the colors that I'm using. And I don't want it to be too big. Like these are too big. What are these? I already went through these. I think I'm gonna use 
between these two. I think I'm going to use this one because it's like cute. How do you spell goals? G-O-G-O-A-L-S. I'll just do one of those. Oh, that looks terrible. I don't even care. <laughs> if you can, what does it look like now? Oh my gosh, I made it so much worse. I'm just going to put a sticker over it. Uh, if you came here expecting, like, legitimate skills in bullet journaling, like, that's not it. That's not what's happening over here. That is not this kind of video. Um, <laughs> so bad. So I had a bit of a mishap. My like rolly thingy ran out and I didn't prepare any refills because I'm not smart. So what I'm gonna do <laughs> is I'm just gonna like, I guess I'll just like stick it down with washi tape. Goals for your debut year. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna keep it to um, things that I can control. Like I'm not gonna put become a New York Times bestseller on here because yeah I just like I cannot control that and it's also highly unlikely so I feel like it would just make me sad to see it there um so I'm not gonna do any goals like that um I'm just gonna do achievable goals things like um you know do a giveaway and um uh throw myself a launch event and like um make us make like however many special youtube videos about the book because i am planning to do some special blood like magic related videos i have ordered a bunch of like swag so I got my bookmarks, um, I got um, book plates to sign. I'm hoping to send those to like a bunch of indie bookstores, ones that I can't get to to sign books. I actually like don't have an indie where I'm living right now at all and the closest indie is two hours away. So <laughs> chances are I might not be able to get to a bunch of indies um, and so I'm planning to send um, signed book plates and that way there's like an incentive. Like if you order from this indie, you can get like a signed book plate in your book and then it's like getting a signature, um, which I think will be really nice. And I would really like to do that. So I got a really nice book plate that I designed. I designed all my stuff myself. So my bookmark, my book plate, and what else did I get? I got a sticker. I drew that myself and um, what else did I get? Oh, I should show you my sticker. I'll just like put my sticker over here. I got these stickers printed. Um, they're vinyl stickers and I got them printed and then I was kind of like, they're super small, like they're smaller than I thought they were gonna be for one. And then I kind of wasn't sure. I don't know. I just like they're smaller than I thought they were going to be. And then I like found a sticker company that I kind of think is better. And then I wanted to go with that company instead. And so then I kind of just like decided that that was what I was going to do. So then I've now ordered from that company. And so that sticker is going to be coming. So they're going to be different stickers. So they'll be bigger and they'll be like die cut. So it won't be me like cutting it into a square. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And then what else did I get? I think that was, oh, I got postcards as well. So I got postcards um, with like um, the character art that I did on one side and then like, I know you're probably looking at me doing this and you're like, you did character art? Um, uh, but it's actually nice because I treat it seriously as opposed to what I'm doing over here. 
Um, and so I got that printed on the front and then on the back, there's like book information and that sort of thing. So I think that'll be fun. Maybe I'll put like a small, I don't feel, don't feel like it right now. Okay. So this is going to be the memorable moments spread. There we go. I think that looks nice. That looks nicer than I thought it was going to look. Um, yeah, that looks a lot nicer than I thought that was going to look. I wanted to go over the other one in silver and then I forgot. I'll have to do that later. Uh, but yeah, so in this memorable moment section, I guess I'll put anything like memorable and exciting that happened during debut year. Um, and that could be anything. I'm not really going to hold it to anything. Um, it could be, I'm happy my book released. It could be, um saw a really nice review and then I can just like I'm just gonna like put the Polaroids over here I watched a book by uh Jenity from uh this story ain't over and she did like an Addie LaRue theme spread I'll link it and it was so cool like she did like what would be like a Polaroid thing but like made spots for them she's like an actual like proper journaler not like me <laughs> um but yeah, so there's that. And then I wanted to do a little section here. I don't think I'm going to fill it out right now because I don't know. I don't really know. Well, I guess I can do like the little title thing. There's nothing wrong with doing the title. So here I'm going to do something for launch day. I still don't know what I'm going to be doing for launch. I... Um, Part of me, how do you spell launch? A. Uh, there we go. That's a little nicer. Um, I don't know what I'm doing for launch day. I am of two parts in it. I would like to be able to like partner with and support a indie bookstore with my launch but I also do like the idea of doing a launch or at least doing something on my YouTube channel some sort of live event because then it can live on my YouTube channel I can go in and I can caption it and then I can have something that incorporates my launch day on my channel that like people that watch my channel can go and look at and like be involved in and that sort of thing but I guess we'll see how it shakes up there is a bit of discussion going on now about virtual launches and like I used to think that maybe COVID would be over by June and I could like have an in-person launch but that's not gonna happen I feel that pretty I feel like that's definitely not going to occur but anyway <laughs> um what was I talking about Yes, so I would like to definitely do something for YouTube that, like, stays on YouTube. I think that would be really cool. So even if it's not, like, my actual launch day event, I think I will do something there. Um, just to have it live on my YouTube event and for, like, people that are subscribed to me and, like, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for my launch event that is still forthcoming. So I messed up over here and then I just, I found this little envelope I got. And so I was like, I'm going to stick that in here and then I can like write in like some sort of note to myself for like debut year or something like that. And then I can stick it in there and then I can like read that later. So that's what I'm going to do with that page. And I'm just going to move on to my... January reflections. I'll put the reflections in black or in silver and highlight it. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, reflections. There we 
we go. I like that. I think that looks nice. So my January reflections. So basically like every month I'll just have a chance to like reflect on how the month went for debut year. Um, I think that'll be nice to have and to look back on and to be like, oh, this is like how, uh, yeah, this is how everything went or this is how I was feeling this month. Um, uh, I'm just going to write a letter to me. There you go. That works. Overall, I feel really hopeful about how I think debut year is going to do, to be. Um, I think I've, I've been super appreciative, appreci appreciative of all the people who like made anticipated videos and included my book. Like that was really exciting. Should I put that there? <laughs> it doesn't look that nice. Um, this is a dried sorrel flower. It's a flower I dried. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I've really appreciated like everyone that like shouted out looking forward to Blood Like Magic and when it comes out and looking forward to reading it. I am extremely grateful. I've been so happy to like see like all these videos. I really didn't expect <laughs> to be on any anticipated reading list. Like I expected like people I know that are booktubers to be anticipating the book um, because I like know them and they've like told me how excited they are about the book. So like I expected them um, to like be looking forward to it. If they weren't looking forward to it, I wouldn't have been upset. I will say that caveat, <laughs> but they had told me they were excited about it. So I wouldn't have been surprised if they said they were excited about it. Um, but I was really shocked to see like um, booktubers, of course, that I have no prior relationship with <laughs> um, putting the book on their anticipated list and like talking about it. And like some booktubers, like I was just naturally subscribed to them and like following them. And then I like saw a video pop up with my book cover and I was like, oh my gosh, um, that to me, like, has never gotten old. Like, I'm so excited to see people anticipating the book. That's been such a huge thing for me. That's it for my debut year journal thing. I hope you liked this semi-chaotic chatty video. Um, if you haven't subscribed to me already, please subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And maybe I'll do more of these in the future, probably doing different craft stuff. Like maybe sometimes I'll like crochet or sometimes I'll paint or something like that and like chat about whatever. Um, if you have any topics you want me to chat about, um, go ahead and comment with those and I will file that away for future chaotic chatty time videos. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.